We're ready to start assembly now and we'll start with the brake hardware. So what we'll do here is take the pin and we put the washer with the one flat side and then this hardened round washer and then <clears throat> this will go into this hole and same thing on this side where we put the round washer flat and then a cotter key. And we're going to do that on the other side too. Next we take the brake adjusting screw which looks like this and I put a little bit of this uh, anti-seize compound right here. Now we don't use much lubricant in here where it might get on the shoes and by the way have your hands clean and no grease on those new uh, brake linings. So we got the anti-seize right there and then this goes in like this and we're going to screw her down all the way. Can work at it from the bottom side. And then these uh, hardened pins go in here like this. And this. Okay, I screwed this adjusting screw all the way down. It was a little bit more than finger tight, so I had to use a wrench. So that's all the way down, so these pins go in. And now we can uh, lay the uh, two. I've bent the cotter keys over. Lay the two shoes on with clean hands. And we're going to put the adjusting, or the cam rather, that uh, actuates the brake. It goes in there and we're going to use just a little bit of grease on that shaft, or in this hole rather, and not very much because we don't want any of it to come out later on and haunt us. I'll put that in. Now the springs go on. And this can sometimes be a little bit of a struggle. As it already has become a struggle. Like that. And in order to uh, stretch these over, we're going to use a brake spring pliers, which looks something like this. And it's going to uh, go on like this, and I'm going to stretch it over and put it right through that hole. Now this isn't going to be real easy, so we'll take just a short break, and I'll come back, and both of these springs will be on. Okay, both springs are attached. It went just a little bit easier than what I thought using the uh, tools. If you don't have any of these, it might be a real struggle without them unless you've got a better way, and I'm sure there are other ways. Make sure that nothing has slipped and moved on you, and that uh, this uh, brake actuating uh, cam here is situated correctly between these washers and uh, uh, all the other parts here. Remember, these aren't hydraulic brakes. These are strictly mechanical brakes actuated by the cam. Now we're going to flip it over and put the pedal on. Now we're ready to install the pedal, and it's going to go on to this spline that's on the other end of that uh, actuator cam that I just showed you. We'll start by putting the flat washer on right here. And then there are splines here, and I've already determined uh, <coughs> what spline is going to go on, but you may have to do a little experimenting here so you get this in the right position. Bring that up. And then we're going to put the nut on there. And then I'll tighten that up. There is a grease zerk here, and I'll grease that after the whole thing is assembled and on the tractor. 